I, um, are you hearing me or not? You sure can. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I just looked at a review on Amazon of your book, and it looks to me like you're more specializing in bashing white males than anything else. Did you know that white males created the modern world? You got those white genes flowing in your body, baby, so you need to share that white <laughs> guilt. <laughs> um, Steve, can you repeat the name of the caller? Uh, Amy. Uh, Wanda, I'm sorry, it was Wanda. Ha Wanda. Wanda, okay, there's so much racial stupidity in what you've just said that we can unpack. Um, so you said you read a review on Amazon. I'd encourage you to read um, not just my book, but probably a whole stack of books that you need to find in the library. Uh, one of the things you need to understand uh, is that my book and scholarship on race and racism is not about bashing white men. Uh, one of the things that people don't really understand, particularly people who are racially ignorant, uh, is that opposing white supremacy is not the same thing as bashing white people. You talk about white men, um, you'd probably be surprised to find out that one of the things I explain in the book is how I learned about systemic racism from a white man. Uh, Ira Silver, Dr. Ira Silver was one of my professors at Wellesley College. Um, and uh, Dr. Silver was uh, one of the first teachers I had in my uh, education that actually explained what systemic oppression was. And not just racism, although that was one of the things we learned about in his introduction to sociology course, but also class oppression, right? And we learned about these issues uh, from a sociological perspective in his class. And so I write about that because many people like you are you know, particularly racially ignorant and think that, oh, if you're talking about racism and white supremacy, you're bashing white people. The fact is we have always had in this country a minority of whites who are actually anti-racist. Um, and these are people who understand what systemic racism is. They oppose white supremacy. Uh, and I am in solidarity uh, with folks, uh, whatever their racial or ethnic background, who oppose systemic racism. Uh, so that's the first thing that I would say. Uh, the second part of what you said, uh, I think you said I have white genes flowing through my veins and that I should share uh, in white guilt. Um, there's just so much uh, in what you've said that's offensive uh, and, and quite repulsive, but I'll just address one thing. Uh, the fact of the matter is, and I don't know how you identify, but most people would look at someone who is African American, and even though uh, we might have, we might be what what scholars call multi generational, multi racial, uh, and and they will still discriminate against us because of the way that white people, that is people who have come to define themselves as white, and that's a whole maybe another conversation that we could talk about in some of the other calls, but whiteness itself is a made-up category uh, that is itself based on a modern fiction. Uh, but people who call themselves white, right, uh, discriminate against people who look like me. And so to suggest that because I, you know, have ancestry or other African Americans have ancestry that includes Europeans uh, is extraordinarily ignorant, in part because part of this country's uh, racial history around uh, interracial mixture is the history of interracial and particularly white supremacist rape. And that is during the slave trade and during uh, the era of slavery, white men systematically raped African American women who they enslaved, sometimes girls that they enslaved. Uh, and this is a large reason why many African Americans have mixed ancestry. And so for you to distort that history and suggest that the descendants of those raped slaves should share in the guilt for the crimes committed against their ancestors and share in the guilt for the ongoing crimes of discrimination and systemic racism is absurd. Uh, so that's how I would reply to that. But I also would encourage you uh, to address your racial ignorance and, and you know, read a whole lot of books, not just mine. You can start with mine, uh, but I would also encourage you to read the notes where I extensively uh, point uh, the reader to scholarship, uh, both historical, sociological, and otherwise on these issues. Crystal Fleming is a graduate of Wellesley College, she earned her master's and doctorate, as she mentioned a moment ago, from Harvard. She is joining us from New York. Her previous book was titled Resurrecting Slavery, Racial Legacies, and White Supremacy in France. 
More of your phone calls. Theron is joining us from Lawrenceville, Georgia, our line for independence. Good morning. 